In the vast expanse of the Canadian prairies lies the small town of Morris, Manitoba. Nestled in the heart of this rural community are a team of dedicated farmers who spend their days tending to the land and working tirelessly to provide for their families and communities. Welcome back to our channel and episode 4 of Farming Sim Chronicles. This episode will tell the story and the journey of our team of farmers harvesting 1,300 acres of soybeans. We'd like to take a moment to thank you for your continued support on our journey. If you enjoy the content we bring you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us to continue bringing you these stories. As the summer sun rises over the horizon, the team sets out to begin their annual soybean harvest. The fields stretch out before them, a sea of golden brown, as far as the eye can see. The weather is perfect, with clear blue skies and a few fluffy clouds lazily drifting by. The harvest begins with precision and efficiency. The farmers work in unison, their harvesters moving swiftly through the rows of soybeans. As the day wears on, the sound of the machinery echoes across the fields, a constant reminder of the hard work and dedication that goes into producing the crops that feed and fuel the world. For days on end, the team works tirelessly, pushing through the long hours and the physical demands of the harvest. But despite the challenges, their spirits remain high. They take pride in the work they do knowing that the soybeans they are harvesting will be used to make fuel and soybean meal that will be used to feed the pigs on their farms and beyond. The soybeans that the team of farmers are harvesting are not just any ordinary soybeans. These soybeans are specially bred to be high-yielding and disease-resistant, ensuring a bountiful harvest for the farmers. They are also known for their high-protein content, which makes them ideal for use in animal feed and as a source of protein for human consumption. Once the soybeans are harvested, they will be transported to the processing facility, where they will undergo several stages of cleaning, drying, and sorting before being packaged and sent off to be used in various products. A significant portion of the soybeans will be used to make soybean meal, which is a high-protein feed ingredient that is used to feed pigs, chickens, and other livestock. The protein-rich meal is essential in providing the necessary nutrients to the animals to promote growth and overall health. In addition to being used as an animal feed, soybeans are also an important source of biofuel. The oil extracted from soybeans can be used to make biodiesel, a renewable fuel that can be used to power cars and trucks, reducing our dependence on fossil fuels and helping to combat climate change. So as the farmers bring in their harvest of soybeans, they know that their hard work will have a far-reaching impact, from providing a source of protein for livestock to helping to power our transportation and reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. And that is what makes the harvest season even more satisfying and meaningful for them. As the harvest draws to a close, the team takes a moment to consider the time and effort they invested in this crop. The harvest of 1,300 acres of soybeans was accomplished successfully after months of planning and arduous labor, but they never finish their work. They are aware of how important their work is to their community and the wider globe. One soybean at a time, they take pride in being able to feed and power the entire world. After finishing the soybean harvest, the team gets ready to harvest a little field of sunflowers on a piece of property they just bought as their farm keeps growing. As the summer draws to a close and October draws near, the 1,500 acres of planted corn are almost ready to be harvested. Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. The corn harvest will start in Episode 5 when we return, so stay tuned.